Hello, my name is Sam Castle. I'm the director of Thorpewood, an environmental education center located on Maryland's Catoctin Mountain. Thorpewood serves our community through environmental education and youth programs primarily directed toward underserved individuals. I am truly excited to introduce our newest youth program, Thorpewood's Challenge to Youth Through Apprenticeship, or TCYA. TCYA offers youth the opportunity to develop a strong work ethic and pride of workmanship. The youthful offender concept for TCYA was suggested by a friend of Thorpewood, the warden of a Maryland correctional facility, Rob Green. As a result, we formed partnerships with Richard Benny Benvenu of Our House and Dean Fitzgerald of Fitzgerald's Heavy Timber Construction. TCYA is off to a roaring start, and we have every expectation that Thorpewood's challenge to youth through apprenticeship will become a national model for juvenile justice agents. Our project this year is the construction of a 24 by 130 foot equipment building. I invite you to share in the excitement of the leaders of TCYA as they describe the project. Our house is a residential school for at-risk kids teenage boys, 16, 17, 18, 19 years old, from all over the state of Maryland. Uh, they come from poor backgrounds, abused, neglected, abandoned backgrounds. During the daytime, they do construction trades, and at nighttime, they have their high school classes. Every weekend on Saturday mornings, they're doing community service. If we're accomplishing something, we're being successful. These young men need uh, motivation like that. They need hard work, They're helping them when they graduate, helping them to be good, good citizens, tax-paying citizens. Things that they had, most of them had no role models for, things that um, they weren't aware of until they, they, they had that sense of accomplishment, uh, moving a 600-pound timber, putting it together without metal, without nails. They can say, golly, I did that. And for some of them, the newer ones, it may be the first time they've had any real good accomplishments in their lives. Something as simple as carpentry, as simple as putting wood together. Um, so it's a wonderful happening. No, it's not all about timber framing. It's really about some kids stepped on the wrong side of the law. Kids never really had the opportunity. Kids that perhaps didn't have a good parent at home, you know, to teach them these things. They never really had a chance. They never really had the education. Simple things that all of us take for granted. To give you some idea of what uh, our apprentices have done in the first three weeks of this project, they have uh, made 13 heavy timber sawhorses. They have sawed oak logs into uh, 5,000 board feet of timber which translates into 10 tons of timber. They've also made mortises and tenons, and they have learned to do layouts from shop drawings. Most importantly, they come in the morning with enthusiasm and leave in the evening with a sense of accomplishment. We've received a generous matching grant of $50,000 but still need to secure an additional $180,000 by October 15th in order to fully fund this effort. I hope from what you've learned of Thorpewood's challenge to youth through apprenticeship that you'll consider supporting this important youth initiative with your contribution. Thank you. Please join us for an old-fashioned barn raising on Saturday, October 29th, the culmination of 15 weeks of work by The Apprentice.